Lesson 5. Account Setup Part 1. Security Fundamentals. The next few lessons cover how to correctly configure gaming accounts. We begin with the basics. If you took our general course on cybersecurity, then you already know a lot. But it's never a bad idea to refresh your knowledge. Although the settings in gaming services vary slightly, this lesson will look at those that are more or less common to all. Let's go. First things first, all accounts have passwords. If someone knows yours, they can log into your account. So passwords must be strong, at least 10 characters long, preferably with upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Such passwords are difficult to crack. Passwords must also be unique. If you use the same password for, say, Steam and the PlayStation Store, then if one account is hijacked, so is the other. If it's too difficult to remember lots of unique and strong passwords, install a password manager. Then you only need to remember one. It goes without saying, although we already did it, that only you should know your passwords. A strong password significantly reduces the risk of being hacked, but does not safeguard against data leakage or theft from the service itself. For that, there is two-factor authentication. This confirms your identity with not only a password, but also a secret one-time code, which is theoretically inaccessible to thieves. Theoretically, because depending on the platform settings, the code can arrive in a text message, by email, or in a companion app on your smartphone. So if your email has been hacked due to poor security, two-factor authentication will not help. This is another compelling reason to see to the security of your mailbox. Most likely, you will link gaming accounts to your main email, so it will need protecting like Fort Knox. The rules are the same, a strong password, not used anywhere else, and two-factor authentication. A mailbox linked to important accounts should not be used to register on more frivolous or dubious websites. Incidentally, we do not recommend linking a gaming account to corporate mail. If you leave the company, you will lose this account and probably your games. So if at some time you chose the wrong kind of mailbox or a weak password for a gaming account, now's the time to put it right. At the same time, check that two-factor authentication is enabled for both the mailbox and the gaming platform. There are other security settings that most gaming services offer. So as not to tell every passerby what games you play and how many hours you spend on them, it's better to make your account private. This information will then be available only to you or to you and your friends. Finally, if you logged into your account on someone else's device, don't forget to log out so that this someone else doesn't get the idea to sell your items or spoil your rating. In most services, this can be done remotely. Go to the settings in your account, find the list of devices on which you're logged in, and log out on all devices except the one you're using. These are the basic security rules, and we recommend applying them right now. In the following lessons, we will cover specific settings for different gaming platforms.